Hello everyone, I'm Cassie. I'm Morgan. That's Morgan. So I have two ice creams in front of me. <laughs> ice cream time. What do they call it when you eat and make a video? Mukbang. Mukbang. <laughs> so we have a long day. It's not even over. But what I want to talk about is how in college people tell you what you should do with your life a lot. Not only that, but if they're not telling you, they're making you question yourself. At least that's my, my experience. Mm -hmm. I have been sure that I wanted to be an actor since probably like I actually seriously started thinking about it, like my freshman or sophomore year of high school. So that was like, what, five, six years ago? It's been my past since I got to college. The only people who have ever not told me to do something are my parents. Me too. <laughs> Me too, my parents are the only ones. Everybody else seems to add their two cents in. They all have an opinion. And sometimes it's an helpful, a helpful opinion. Mm -hmm. When you ask for it. Advice. Shout out to Tom Smith. What do I asked him to advise me, because he's my advisor. Mm -hmm. And he did, but he never did it in a way, this is the thing, he never did it in a way that was like, this is what you should do. He said, well, would you be happy if this was how it turned out? Would you be happy if this was how it turned out? Like what would make you feel fulfilled? And that was the most helpful conversation I had this year in regards to what I want to do. Questions over statements. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm a very confident person. I'm not the type of person to doubt myself or think I am less than I am or think that I made a wrong decision. I don't know. Coming to college is just hard because you suddenly have so many people's opinions. Mm -hmm. Everyone's doing something different. Everybody changes their major so much that when you're sure of what you want to do, it almost makes you feel like you are not because everybody else isn't. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. You switched your major this year. And I yeah. added... Yeah. Or added a major, mm -hmm. subtracted one. Yeah. <laughs> but when you did that, I was like, shoot, should I be reassessing what I'm doing? Yeah. Well, I just moved things around where last year I was a music major, theater minor. Mm -hmm. And so I then I switched it and added a comm major, double major. But even just you doing that, I was like, mm -hmm. should I be thinking about, like, should I be reassessing? I know what I want to do. Mm -hmm. It's so frustrating that the time when you're supposed to be making all the decisions about your life is the time when you doubt yourself most. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How can that be useful we'll to there. anyone? I know, literally this morning I was like, I'm dropping out of college. <laughs> I've never thought that before in my whole life. Yeah, and then you think, especially going to college for something that, like what we're going to college for, the arts, you think, well, no one's gonna hire me if I'm not in college. But then you also think, friggin' the Riverdale stars never went to college. One of them did, at least. There are plenty of people who are successful without having gone to college. And then you're like, why am I even here? I would probably, I just wanted to think about this, I would probably feel more successful if I dropped out of college and just Me too. performed. Me too, but, but I, I but also I'm, love learning. Yeah. But I'm well aware, I enjoy, I, I enjoy a lot of the gen eds that I... Me too, and I think that the reason that I'm at college, A, because I know I have a lot to learn about theater. Mm -hmm. That's just a fact. But also, I think that learning other things makes me a more well-rounded artist and will benefit me in the long run. Again, having a degree, yeah, having a degree will get you farther. Some people happen to get lucky, but in the end, having a degree gets you connections, it gets you knowledge. It's so hard to see right now where it's like, I have to write this paper on somebody else's performance. Or I have to do environmental chemistry problems. Yeah, go to PE. Put a PE 100. Thank you, God. That is over. It's over. My PE class was good. Morgan's was really bad. Maybe that's why I'm dehydrated because they made me work out. Yeah, Morgan has a um, dehydration problem. Skin urgent care issues. We went to urgent care today. Looks so good right now. You look completely normal from where I'm sitting. Really? Uh huh. I probably look a little greasy because I put aquifer all the heck over my face. Mm. I'm gonna drink some water now. I thought that when you get a hydro flask, you automatically you're always. <laughs> that's hydrated. what Will said. Yeah. Morgan's boyfriend Will is writing me music to put in my vlog. He's writing me a new theme song to put with my animation. So I might make a new animation soon. I'm really excited. I love making art. I'm making a YouTube channel right now. Yay! That is my biggest thing is I love making art. I I was uh so Okay, I'm explaining this to everyone. So I went to Capstones, which at PLU is like a cumulative senior project. For theater majors, you have to make a website and a portfolio and give a presentation. So I went to the theater major presentations. A girl who I actually went to high school with, Kaylee, was presenting and she said something during part of her presentation that really resonated with me. She said, I am an actor and I resonate as an actor, but I also love photography and drawing and like just creating. Like I am an artist above all else, but if I had to pick, theater is what has my heart. 
I resonate with that so much. Yeah. I just love creating things. If I can create things for the rest of my life, I will be happy. And realistically, yeah, theater is what I want to be doing. I know I have to be performing in some way to be happy, but I just love making art. And right now I'm in a show, I'm in Medea, and it opens on Thursday, yeah. three days from today. I'm so excited. I am so excited for you. It's a really beautiful show, and I'm really excited for Morgan to see it, and for my other friends and my parents to see it, and Tyler's gonna come up and see it on his birthday, and oh. like, just performing, seriously tearing up right now thinking yeah. about, like performing for the people that I love brings me more life than anything anything in the world even if it's a crummy show which this isn't i think this is truly a stunning show both acting wise design wise it's just really really good just performing is the best thing that i get to do in life i also love making youtube videos and making watercolors and i haven't been making a lot of youtube videos lately i've done a lot of cool poetry videos on my other channel and like my outfits of the week videos i was showing morgan and will that mm -hmm. last night and they're just i just love creating and i need to do it more but i also have a lot of chemistry homework so it's just making time. Freaking time. There's never enough. I love you liberal arts, but I hate you liberal arts. When you're getting an 80 credit degree, it means that you will always be taking 17 credits with gen eds, which is where I'm at. My ice creams are Caramel Sutra. <laughs> yes, it was purchased for the name. And Peppermint Bark, which was purchased for the flavor. <laughs> Morgan hates peppermint, but it's one of my favorites. Sorry, I'm gonna start wearing my peppermint perfume a lot more when the Christmas comes around. <laughs> when the Christmas? I'll say, Morgan, close your nose. Oh, that's me in this, in this vlog. I'm gonna watch your vlog while you're vlogging. Oh my god, look at me, I'm folding clothes. I look grusty as all hell. Mm mm. You are beautiful. <laughs> Yay. We went and got a giant pizza today. We skipped one of our classes to go to urgent care. <laughs> it was super fun. Tonight, I get to go to tech. We're doing our first full makeup hair dress rehearsal. And yes, I will stand for an hour and a half in the freezing cold theater. Selling my heart one stand at a time. The fee or that was my voice. Okay, everyone. I've been talking for 10 minutes and 30 seconds, and now Morgan's about to watch my vlog. So, thank you for watching. I haven't eaten a lot of this ice cream yet, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Do you have anything to say to the viewers? Um, love yourself, peace, and joy, and a holiday season to you. Okay, bye! <coughs>